So Tony Stark, the Tony Stark lives here? Oh, here so. Tony? Hey, Bruce. Long night? Ooh, long five years. <laughs> um, at least it's quiet. Yeah. It was. I... <sighs> hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala. Your emeraldite friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check It was the a science? heist, Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. We failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're gonna be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I, I can't. I can't. You can't what? You're ditching me? Oh, hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the fall despite saving the day and that bastard Charlton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, unless you have some kind of astounding proof, I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Hmm. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I changed that. Son of a bitch. I know, it's incomplete. There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's, there's more here. What? Yeah, look, it's smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is, who is Tiny Dancer? Oh, no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny dancer. Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay. I gotta get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah. Maybe, sort of. We'll see. Excuse me while I slip into something less comfortable. Ah, of course.
Mars Spruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all, no, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. They found you, Bruce. That, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. It's still a thing of beauty. Can't say the same about her. Let's get airborne. Party crashers. Oh, hey, fellas. Okay, it's got to be around here somewhere. Good thing I don't have neighbors. I'm so pissed off right now. You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I do? Uh, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Good to see you, Georgie boy. Been working out? Been any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't work joy. Guess what pile you're in? I the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh, Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. We humans are sick. We need a treatment. Ah! Do people actually buy that crap? Leveled up from spiders. Frankly, I'm surprised to see you and Banner together again. Well, Brucey and I are seeing someone about our issues. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing passes. Let me introduce you to what I like to call techno genius. He'll let you. No. I got this. Watch. Wait! You're not ready for... Or maybe you are. <laughs> nice moves, kiddo. Uh, Kamala? Right? 
It's kind of a compliment, actually. I like you more every second, kid. this for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Don't flatter yourself. I'm barely left to the finger. So the kid's right? You're mind melding with robots now? Choosing sides in a battle you don't fully understand. I chose my side five years ago. You showed up and forced my hand. Give me the girl, and you and Banner can do whatever you want. Forget it. Took the word right out of my mouth. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Have you done rambling? Almost. Oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. Dad. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. 